Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Big Sam's Mission. As you would know, ladies and gentlemen, we avoided relegation last season. So again, ladies and gentlemen, I did say we were probably going to resign, but I've done so much that I'm actually willing to stay at West Ham until at least February just to keep the episode going and again, see how it goes. But ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go straight into it because ladies and gentlemen, we have done so much transfers. It's unbelievable. Um, so let's just have a look at the transfer history. And I'll let you know, ladies and gentlemen, just from last season, we spent 140 million. Obviously, we're bearing in mind what they have done this season as well. Well, sorry, um, the season that the game starts. So we're going to start off with our first signing, ladies and gentlemen. It is Ollie Watkins. As you can see here, he is a two and a half star, which is a bit surprising. Uh, potential three and a half. Um, again, we needed a striker, somebody who can finish um, opportunities. He did score 11 goals last season, ladies and gentlemen, in the Premier League. And that's the type of goals tally we need within the squad with obviously Jared Bowen as well. That would be very, very interesting. We then brought another Aston Villa player. Since that we're raiding them, they did get relegated. And that's Tyrone Mings. He's a three-star three potential playing at his full potential. He can play left-back or centre-back. And again, we needed a bit of defending, a better defenders, sorry, should I say, in that in the back. Um, we know that defensively we weren't great. I'm really, really hoping that he is going to come in and try and do something for us. Hopefully he can. Then, again, Max Aaron, we got here, ladies and gentlemen, three and a half star potential, four and a half. Again, a right back we spoke about. We needed some quality in that right back position. And again, ladies and gentlemen, I think that's a very good coup. So far, we spent 26 million on Ollie Watkins, 17. Again, I know it's a bit too much. And then 44 million on Max Ahrens. Then another striker, we got Pat Sandaka. Again, from RB Leipzig, Salzburg, sorry. RB Salzburg. Again, three star potential for a striker that can also come in and do a decent job. So you can say we're really, really going for it. Last season, he scored 30 goals in 67 appearances. Again, that's not too shabby. Then from Bournemouth, 25 million rising to 35, we got Lewis Cook, another central midfielder, three star potential, four star again to build up in that midfield. I wasn't too happy last season with um, Declan Rice, so we got felt like we needed to get rid of him. We got rid of Sebastian Haller here, 17.5 million. Again, wasn't really doing much for us. Decent stats, but just wasn't great for us. Then um, um, Alise again, he went to Norwich again. I'm not too sure why they wanted him. Um, as part exchange, Mikhail Antonio, 14.5 million. He went to West Brom, followed by Aaron Cresswell as well. Combined 25 million. Again, we needed to get rid of somebody. Um, those players that I've gotten rid of, they just wasn't that great. Then you can see we got rid of Kufal for 6.25 million. Renz brought us, brought off us Buena. And then I think that's about it. But we put in, we brought in Diego Lopez this season as well. Again, he can play across the front three, three star playing at his full potential. Again, just squad depth. We can't always rely on certain players. Um, you know about Benarama, so I'm not going to bother about that. Lopez we got for 10.5 million. Um, Sandro Tonali we got him for 30 million, 20 million rising to 30 million again. Three and a half star potential, four and a half. Again, it's looking really shabby. I was very surprised about that one. Um, I must say. But listen, we just get on with it. Then we've got um, Farinez. Um, again, a, a, back, a full back. Sorry, let me get my words out. We then got Farinez, who's a goalkeeper. Again, we needed some rotation within the goalkeeping department. Then, ladies and gentlemen, this way it gets very, very interesting. We've got two players on loan who will not other than improve us, but also merchandise should go rise up. And the first one is Olivia Giroud. Again, three and a half star playing at his potential. Again, a very, very good striker. He knows the league and scores goals. Um, we got him on a free. And again, ladies and gentlemen, Mesa Ozil. Three stars, ladies and gentlemen. 32 years old. We got him on a free again. He's only on about 42k um, a week. And again, not a shabby player. Again, a player that I feel going to come in and try and do something for us. Then we've got Christian Ramirez. Again, he is a fullback on the left-hand side. Cover for um, Augustin. And again, ladies and gentlemen, last but not least, Yukef Atul from Nice. 15 million rising to 20 million. A right back again. Somebody who can play along the wings and also will give us cover. So without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, today is against Tottenham. We are away from home. And it's going to be looking very, very interesting. So we're just going to go straight into today's game. Um, and I'm just going to make one change. Um, and that's going to be Giroud coming in for Dakar. Only reason that we have doing that is because Giroud, again, is somebody that we know is going to give us a lot of um, 
you know, discipline. He will give us also, um, you know, experience. So we've going with Fabianski in goal, Augustin, Ming, Diop and Aaron's on the back four, Tonali and Such in the middle, then Funao, Mesut Ozil and Felipe Anderson, followed by Giroud leading the line. So again, it's going to be very interesting to see how we do. The board have told us, you've spent a lot of money, you've got to get mid-table. Very interesting to see if we can do it. Can we start off, you know, with a win? That will be very, very good again this is a london derby as well so it'll be very interesting to see how we do um, but let's get the game on so again like i said i'm very happy with the business we've done again i have been very very attached to this west ham's team i must say i was thinking of actually keeping this a bit separate um but you know what what we are going to do is that we're just going to do what we have to do but i feel like we have hopefully um build a team that will not be in that relegation whatsoever once we leave but ladies and gentlemen you can see here um a goal has been reviewed from Deli Ali. it looks like it's disallowed so that's very interesting for us We're very very lucky um but let's just shout and let's just demand more ain't a great start so far but let's see what we can do so far again like i said we've got Giroud up there up front we've got Mesut Ozil again listen this is somebody that has a quality um, and I'm very happy that we're bringing quality players into the squad and especially with experience. Um, so let's just see how it how it goes. It's going to take some time for the boys to gel, um, but it's just interesting to see where we go. But there we go, Mesut Ozil into Giroud, into Tonali. This is be very interesting to see how everybody gels together. Felipe Anderson plays, oh, I'm not sure what he was doing there, but luckily for us, Tonali still has the ball. Augustin on the ball. For now, on that left-hand side, into Mesut Ozil. Mesut Ozil with the long ball, Giroud keeps on going and luckily for our, luckily for them, we don't score. Not too bad so far. Aaron's with the throw, back into Such. Such plays it into Mesut Ozil. Mesut Ozil switch that ball. August, and he has plenty of space to find someone into box. He plays it in. There we go, Olivia Giroud. First goal of the season, ladies and gentlemen. And I did tell you that, listen, this is what we're going for experience and we've got People in on that bench and Messi Ozil with the vision to find Augustin on that left-hand side and whips that ball in. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm looking forward to this season. I don't think West Ham are going to be having any issue, ladies and gentlemen. But it's too easy to talk. Lucas Moura on the side. Good defensive again by Messi Ozil. He has been talked about his defensive duty, but he does it there. Giroud plays it into Messi Ozil again, ladies and gentlemen. Mesut Ozil's experience is going to do us really well. And look at him there. Look at the play so far. Augustin on that ball. He plays it into Mesut Ozil. Back to Augustin. Whip that ball in for Giroud. Plays it in. And unlucky, he just hits the post. It looks like it is a corner to us. Game on, ladies and gentlemen. We are playing not bad. Tonali with the corner. Can he find Giroud? He plays it in. Diop. But it just gets cleared. Not a bad start, I must say, so far. 31 minutes have gone. We've had five shots. Only one on target. And so far, it is looking good. I did say, ladies and gentlemen, you know what? I feel that we're going to start off really, really well. Um, I don't think we're going to have that issue of last season, them being in the bottom half, that's for sure. But mid-table is where we're going to have to try and get those. Well, that's where we need to obviously aim for. And with a squad like this, we cannot complain. Um, so we're going to go straight into it. I'm going to tell them, don't get complacent. I understand that. But listen, we're winning. Don't get complacent and see the game out. Let's see if we can do that. Encourage the boys. Why not push them up? Felipe Anderson is not having the best of games. We may change it in. Again, like I said, we've got a quite a few players we can put in there. Ollie Watkins can play on the wing as well, coming in as an inside forward. I think he will do brilliantly there. Um, there's a lot of things we can do. Um, he's playing a 6.3, so we we'll probably are going to make a slight change soon. But it is Tottenham with the ball. Dyer, they are going to want to counter-attack us. Um, and they are going to come in because they will be, they will not be happy that they are 1-0 down in their half. Let's see if we can counter them. Um, Sanchez on the ball. There we go, Giroud. Oh, that could be a red card, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Giroud does it. He does do it. He gets himself sent off. And what do we do? Um, we're going to have to play Mesut Ozil out wide. I really don't want to do that, um, but that's what we're going to have to do. And we're going to put on Jared Bowen. He's going to have to lead the line for us as an advanced forward. 
not a great start, not a great debut, should I say. Listen, he scored the goals, but look what he's done. He got himself sent off. You know, that's that's not really like him to do stuff like that. Um, I'm very disappointed in him, um, I must say. Um, let's pause that. Let's go again. I'm not too sure why it's not allowing me to change the mentality for some weird reason, but we'll just leave it as that. 74 minutes have gone. Can we see out this game? It is going to be very, very difficult. Oh, yeah, I did say I was going to take off Felipe Anderson. Um, he can come on for Ollie Watkins. Doherty on that left-hand side. Um, Right-hand side, should I say. Deli Ali with the goal. Always going to be difficult. Poor goalkeeper, poor defending. Should not be letting him get into that R box so easy like that. But Olivia Giroud, what has he done? He got himself sent off. I'm not sure what he was trying to do there. And uh, it's not a great start. I really hope we can get something from this game. We, we fully deserve something from this game. Jared Bowen on the ball. Ollie Watkins! Ollie Watkins, first goal of the season, ladies and gentlemen. The super sub has come on and has scored a goal. Bowen and Ollie Watkins with that partnership, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe it. We are 2-1 up. What a way to start this off. Sisko, Sisko, oh, Sioko, <laughs> Sissoko, um, doesn't get the ball, doesn't miss times the um, throw, should I say. Bowen catches the ball, chips it in, and Oli Watkins with the goal. I cannot believe this, ladies and gentlemen. You can see I'm muddling my words because I'm just, I cannot believe that we are on top. Aaron's with the throw. Can we make it 3 2? Oli Watkins into such, such plays it into Messi. Messi Ozil, first goal of the season, ladies and gentlemen. And again, the most experienced players are combined in. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on here? Messi Ozil, Aaron's with the throw into Oli Watkins. He lays it into such, such takes a touch, plays it in, and Ozil swivels. And wow, I cannot believe this. What a start, ladies and gentlemen. What a team we have on our hands. And Oli Watkins has just, has literally just played himself into the next game. Um, that's for sure. The game is done and dusted, ladies and gentlemen. Regardless of what happens now, we have won our first game. And again, it is against Tottenham. It is squeaky bum time. Now it is 3-2. We've got two minutes plus, two minutes plus of stoppage time. I'm really hoping we're going to see out this game. Another goal by Spurs is going to make us draw and I'd be very disappointed. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is done. We have done it 3-2 with 10 men. Wow. Unbelievable. The players deserve a pat on the back. And I can't believe, actually, we won this game. And what a game it was. I'm very happy. I can see, ladies and gentlemen, the business we've done has been really good. Now, let's have a look at the schedule, ladies and gentlemen. We are going to come back for United game. We are going to play United away from home. We're going to play quite a few and see where it goes. But, ladies and gentlemen, first game of the season. What a game it's been. But please, rate the transfer from 1 to 10 in the comments below. I would appreciate that. But ladies and gentlemen, that is all for today. I am Football Manager Maniac. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share, hit that thumbs up and notification bell. Hit the comments below. Let me know what you thought about the game and the transfers. And as always, hit the comments below. I always like to interact with everybody. And I'll see you guys next time. Thank you very much and take care.